everybody welcome back to another fantastic episode ready to die fighting Chris here and I'm gonna work on something today that I have not really practiced in a, in a while entirely too long um, it's actually this will be the first time I've worked on it in this particular way so I may screw up quite a bit we'll see how it goes uh, we talk a lot about combat on this channel and I typically am talking about hand-to-hand -hand, boxing sparring whatever rolling um, but I another aspect of that and a I don't know possibly more important I would say at least as important is firearms training I am a CPL holder I carry if I'm not at work I'm probably carrying uh, even in the house <clears throat> and in the house a lot of times since I'm working out here or I just want to be comfortable I'm wearing you know my little my little workout shorts and I pocket carry and I have a nine millimeter shield that I just stick into one of these sticky holsters I like it a lot it works great in the pocket uh, and I often carry I do have a kydex holster kydex holster that I just keep in the car just because that is more secure I think and is a little bit nicer um, but comfort wise the sticky holster is what I like the most however I've never practiced um, really drawing with it especially not under pressure I practice drawing kind of like casually just make sure I'm comfortable with it but not under any pressure I haven't done that and so what I used to do with the kydex holster is I'd get on the bag here and uh, you know and I'd punch it for a little while get my heart rate up and kind of push against it and let it come back at me and I'd kind of fight against it like this as though it were a person who I was who was attacking me and may even be on top of me or pushing me someplace I don't want to go or trying to grab me whatever and so just letting it put weight up against me like that um, and you know after say a, a minute of punching and whatever else just to get the heart rate up and the adrenaline going or whatever then I try to push it away from me you know give it a nice big push so it swings back and then draw and shoot before it hits me because I feel like that's probably the most likely scenario right someone attacking you like if, if many other cases I don't really see myself drawing say if I'm an active shooter situation I'm not gonna try to pull my gun out and and have the police show up and not know who the suspect is I shouldn't even say suspect the assailant or whatever it is uh, I'm just gonna try to get myself to safety <laughs> and you know most attacks are close range so um, I figure that's the and that's your worst case scenario anyway somebody that close to you is like so that's the area where I really wanted to train and so that's something I used to do when I first got my CPL I did that a lot um, I did a lot up until I don't know why did I stop I think it's just because life got crazy and I just I stopped working out and training in, in any kind of way for a while so I'm back at it and this is something I haven't done in a while and I need to get back to it I think um, so and what makes it an extra layer of difficulty or complexity to me is I only want to carry at least at this point in my life I only want to carry firearms that have a manual safety on them so part of the problem um, is I want I got to make sure I'm training to remove that safety now I, I know a lot of people are very <laughs> much against the manual safeties but to me it just makes it safer I have a kid in the house that's uh, just an extra layer if I, I try to be as responsible as I possibly can with it but I just want as many backups you know as possible just in case something happens just in case I drop it or forget it or whatever uh, and he gets his hand down on it if he's you know I don't know just you could just grab it off my hip one day who knows kids do all sorts of crazy stuff just that extra step I feel safer uh, however and plus what I like about having a manual safety is it doesn't have to stay on in the house the safety is always on because I have a dog we've got walls I feel like no one's gonna sneak in on me you know if I'm, I'm in my basement and somebody's trying to break in I'm gonna hear some noises I'm certainly gonna hear the dog going crazy instantly like before I even go upstairs 
you know, I'm turning the safety off and seeing what's going on. Cause at that point I'm at alert. However, if I stop at the gas station before I even get out of the car, I turn the safety off because I feel like that's a uh, higher risk scenario. If I'm going to be walking down a dark alley or in a parking lot or parking structure, safety's off. Um, but then when I'm back in the house, when I get back in the car, you know, wherever I feel like I'm safer and I can bring my uh, level of attention down some, the safety goes back on. So I, I like having those options. Um, I That freedom. If I wanted to, I could leave it off and never turn the safety on. I have options. I'd rather have the option than not have the option. I guess is what I'm getting at. So just, I know that's one of those things that people are very opinionated about and people, you know, even at the gun shops have argued with me about why I want a safety. I'm like, you know what? That's my decision. That's what I want. So that's just, that's just where I'm at. That may change in the future, but for right now, you know, that's, that's what I like. I mean, that's what I do. And the key is just, just train with it. So, so my, <laughs> I, what I, what I try to go for is bring the gun up here. Uh, and then at this point, I'm like that. My thumb is, is pretty easily right there. So the manual safety here is just this here. And I can hit that with my thumb very easily. So if I'm, as I'm bringing it up to, at to this point is where I want to hit that. And then as I come here, that thumb is here. And now on my Beretta, it's a PX4 Storm, the safety, you actually push upward, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so I actually just, and I, I can't hit that with my thumb. My hands aren't big enough. Even if I wanted to, it, it just doesn't work. So I have to use the other hand. Um, so I train with either gun. I just kind of do that as I'm coming up, hit this here and do that again or push up, but basically just do something with the thumb here. Uh, and that way it's double, doubly, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it twice basically to make sure I've got it. And then, you know, extend and pull the trigger. And then turn the safety back on as I'm bringing it back. That's pretty much where I always turn it back on is right there. So, and then put it back in the holster. Is the motion that I practice. So let's try this going, coming out of the pocket, which is admittedly much more awkward here. You know, I'm not even going to try punching and all that. Maybe just a little bit. I'm not going to fight too much though. Just do that a little bit. Totally forgot to take the safety off. That fast. Totally forgot. But that's the way I reholster with this type of thing. I'm not trying to put it back in my pocket into something this floppy and loose. I take the whole thing out, put it back in, and now I feel pretty safe with that. And I can put it, uh, put it back in my pocket rather than trying to trying to put it back into the holster inside my pocket. That seems dangerous. That seems like a good way to get a negligent, ne negligent discharge. Oh. So, let's see. I'm trying to... Oh, and I got caught. I didn't pull the trigger, but I did get the safety. The, the, what I really want to do is I don't want to stop. So, so what? I got caught. So what? Fight through it. Get the gun out and fire. Um... So let's try that again. And I'm cheating a little bit because I'm not even quickly going into my pocket. Uh, and, and, and at least at first, um, when I'm learning new things, practicing new things, I, I like to break it down. So eliminate part of the steps. And the part that I'm eliminating now is putting my hand in the pocket. So I just want to get used to getting it out. Um, and because I feel like that's the key part and I'm concerned getting caught up here. I think that's going to be happening a lot because these pants are so loose or short. So I kind of want to overcome that obstacle first and kind of figure that out. Worry about getting my hand into the pocket next. All right, so that's time the holster came out with it. <laughs> Get it back in there. This clearly I don't know that this is gonna work very well 
Maybe I just need more practice. Am I got playing? Uh, and the holster came with me. There we go. Alright. Kind of, sort of. I'm, I am definitely fighting with this pocket to, to make that happen. Pulsar came with me again. <laughs> I'm blocking when I'm you know, blocking. Oh, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Uh, uh. All right, so that time I got it. Um, however, I'm not disengaging the trick, the safety, and I'm not pulling the trigger. I'm just pointing a realistically harmless gun at them harmless because of safety saw it so um i need to think i need to start incorporating the other stuff so that was horrible horrible i tell you See what happened there. Um, I did. I actually went through the motion of swiping my thumb, but I missed it. I I'm not sure how I missed it exactly, but somehow I, I missed it. My my thumb did my thumb did that some kind of way, but it did not disengage the safety. Mm, I'd be in a world of hurt. It's awkward for sure. <sighs> All right. That was pretty smooth. <sighs> I need to, uh, Pull the trigger is what I'm not doing. I'm just trying to point the thing. That's no good. And I think that is something. I think. Maybe that's something I need to work on in general. I don't know if this is isolated to just today or just to this. I'll have to think about that and look back on previous drills that I've done. Am I always reluctant to pull the trigger? I don't know. about this but I know that I step back when I do this and it's it is intentional because this close I was like no realistically I mean I guess I could just do this and I did get the uh, safety off I didn't pull the trigger though um, maybe I don't need to get full extension but for right now what I'm doing to get some distance Pulled the trigger, got the safety off. So I'm going to do that maybe three more times before I try to do it while fighting the bag. Try to get it situated in here, right? Alright. There we go. Getting better. Muscle memory is building. Missed my pocket.
safety's off. Got it out, no problem. Pull the trigger. Phew. Okay, so that's three times. Let's see if I can do it under stress. Get, couldn't even help. Oh, couldn't even get in my pocket. <laughs> Definitely easier with a Kydex holster and a belt. <sighs> Try that again. <laughs> yeah, getting in the pocket is hard. In this kind of a shorts. Get caught up a lot here. And the weight of the gun does pull this side of my shorts down a little bit. So it's actually sitting lower, uh, a lot lower than the kydex holster would be. I couldn't get it out by the time it swung back at me. But I did get the safety off and I did pull the trigger. I'll reset that so I can actually get a click. Didn't get it. Oh, I messed up my nail. Let's see. And yeah, this is a... I'm punching, I don't know if it's 100%, but we're getting close. Yeah, that might be. Oh, 
faster. <laughs> this is a tough drill. But I think this is more realistic. And so I'm gonna train with this more. Let's give it one more go. One more try. I'll get it this time. A pretty little nail. Um, all right. Let's give it one more try. See if I can get it. Stuffing's coming out again. Damn. All right, whatever. Ever last. Ever lie. Never last. Pick one. Attempted to pull the trigger. Swipe my thumb across the safety. It didn't disengage. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Gotta get that click at least once. Come on. Come on, Chris. You can do it. You can do it. I said one more, one more, one more. Like, subscribe, tell me what you think. If you have other drill ideas that could be useful like this, send them at me. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I don't know how long I'll keep recording, but I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> when I get it, I'll edit it in and make it look like I'm a superstar. Yeah. Gotcha. 